So I found out this morning that if my video is over 15 minutes long, that's when it won't upload in more than 15 minutes. I didn't know that, so I didn't, it, what it cut off was me talking about a product. So here is our stew. And for anyone that hasn't cooked, always open your lid away from you or that steam can burn you. And we're going to put our rice in. So here's the reason that you don't put your rice in in the beginning. I love scissors, not knives. I'm doing this one-handed as I'm holding my phone. When your rice gets done, it's done. And there's no more moisture. There's no more cooking going on. I mean, not to say that the lid on it, it might cook for another five minutes or so. But when there's no more moisture, um, your rice will just burn at the bottom. So you need to have your chicken done and let me show you how to test that. And it could be a little more done to see how it's falling apart. I can go ahead and take that bone out. Now that bone, all that skin and knuckle, that, that won't hurt the dogs. But there's a little bitty bone in here too we need to get out. There it is. I'm not if I don't get it out now, I promise I will before I stir it all up. That's it right there, and it's actually connected to that joint. It's not soft enough, but we will get we'll get these bones out. Do not feed cooked bones. Oh, I forgot these were quarters, so I've got a little bit of a backbone there, too, to take out. But that's not a problem. You could actually take, in fact, I think I'll do that. I think I'll take the meat out now so that... Um, it'll cool and I can debone it and then stir it back in. So I'm just going to set it here and let it cool. There we go, because it's done. And now I'm going to add my rice. Whoa! This is two pounds of rice, so probably almost four cups. So here's one thing you don't want to do. Oh, there's plenty of moisture in there for that rice. And I'm fogging up my lens. When I come back to this in 45 minutes, this rice is going to fluff up and suck every bit of this moisture into it. And these will be even softer. I mean, I have bull mastiff, so they don't, this doesn't bother them, right? They can eat a cow leg. But if you had a small dog, you definitely want this a tiny bit softer, and you're definitely going to want to. You know, break it up a little bit more for a small dog. But my dogs. Let's see how soft that sweet potato is. It could be softer, but it's going to cook for another 45 minutes. So we're going to put the lid back on it. There we go. We check it again. And 